one of my subscribers is changing his um, outrigger here and it got me to thinking that there's one or two things you should really know it is a tricky job to do it's not easy because the outrigger actually hooks over the inside of the chassis now I, I did some still pictures of this a long time ago but I didn't really describe it on video So here's, here's a cheaty way that I do them. See these little dots here? This is where I cut. I cut down here, across here, and across the top. I, I leave this bit on because 90% of the time this bit's okay. Now, that allows me to put a big patch underneath. Sometimes I take this bit off and redrill a hole. You know, get rid of that. But it's easy and, and like I say the other struggle is getting this bolt out and all you have to do then is just bend this piece up a bit and dress it all up I'll put some pictures on in a minute but what you do is you, your new outrigger you cut it down flush square across there and then you overlap one on top of the other and then you can get it welded across here and it's so much easier now that's a cheaty way of doing it but it's still just as strong and it allows you to get under here to put a patch because normally they're all boxed in here and they're all rotten. If by other, you know, somebody wants a really proper concour job, well, I'll take the engine out because uh, even though you can take the floor out, you still can't get to that bit properly inside to grind it all off and cut it off. So I'll, I'll take the motor out. That's a big job. So this is a lot easier. So there's one thing. But the other thing I wanted to tell you is I take off the radius arm. Now this is dropped down and you can sort of, you can't quite get into that bottom corner. So by taking the radius arm off, you will be able to get into this and have loads and loads of room to work. It's easy. There's, there's, there's no point making work for yourself and no point struggling. But one thing I wanted to show you. Now I've got this lifted up on my forklift so I'm being very careful um, not to get under this car but safety safety first whenever you're taking um, jacking up cars and things like this just get them well supported now I said when I'm doing outriggers I put some stands under the chassis and under the the front bumper so that it's well supported and also under the axle as well now, this is the problem if you're going to take the radius arm out, because only do one side at a time. Don't do two sides, because there's a temptation when you take out the uh, radius arm to put new bushes in, because they sort of do get a bit chewed up. But when you put new bushes in, it will push this arm forwards, and then you'll have a struggle trying to get these um, bushes back in. So I'm going to give you a, a top tip here, because this is, this is going to be nice. Whenever I do radius arms here, whenever I put them in, I jack up, so I've got the frame supported well, and then I jack up the axle until this is almost horizontal. So it's coming out and so it's parallel with the frame. You see the frame line there? So it's parallel. This is tipped, and if you try to put it back in again, you'll have a hell of a job trying to get the nut back on the end of here. There just isn't enough space. So do it horizontal, top tip, it'll drop in like a glove. The second thing is, the second top tip, is once you've got it out and you've got these little wing things here, you know, you've got one at either side and another one at the back, the mounting points. Once the, once the uh, radius arm's out, get a hammer and ding these out just a bit, maybe well, a couple of, two, three millimetres, and that will drop in. It will just drop in and then you get a podger bar, you know, like a tapered punch and wiggle the bars about and you'll get that to line up beautifully. And you can do it on your own and you can do it easy and safe. Now when you do the other side, with this axle already moved forward just a little bit, it'll be a little bit easier. But please don't do two at once if, you, if you're not familiar with this because the only thing that's holding the axle in 
is the shock absorber and to some extent the brake pipe <laughs> and that means that axle can jig you about and move around but please get a hammer tap these tap these out like this both sides as much as you can and that will just fly in put plenty of uh, thread guard on your bolts front and back and it's done but that is a really easy way of doing an outrigger I know it's a bit cheaty but it's equally as strong and like I say once this is out of place uh, you know gone if you've got some rock behind it there you can make another panel to fit onto the chassis and maybe weld it down here and at the back now if you do that here's another oh God, the top tips are coming today if you put a plate behind here you have to shorten this piece down here to correspond otherwise you're not going to get your bolt in so if you put a thick plate on here and then you weld this on top this isn't going to line up and I've seen people struggle on trying to get the damn bulkheads in you know bulkhead bolts in and they won't go in so bear that in mind cut this down don't be afraid of trimming a panel don't ever be afraid of trimming them up to get them to fit and then what I do is I put the bolt in first before I do any weld I'll tack weld it all the way around make sure it's nice and then weld it up and you can't go wrong honestly you cannot go wrong um, I don't know if there's anything else to tell you but that's it but if you look at this I'm gonna have a look at this from the other side and you can see how difficult it is to get into here you know to cut cut this off you need to cut what I do is I get my plasma and I cut round this piece here underneath and then dress it up when it's done now notice the floors out of this vehicle so let's have a look inside again you can cut this bit off but this bit's a nightmare to weld and especially if you have to have to do two I mean it can be done just by taking the floor out but well TDI's are so easy to get the engines out I just take the engines out sometimes but de depends depends what people want you know depends what they want to pay I, I know taking the engine out is a bit extreme but well sometimes I do it sometimes I don't but that's why I like that little technique going down there so I hope this has helped and there we go making Land Rovers better that's my new phrase good isn't it so thanks for watching we'll uh, catch you later bye now